guys, it's Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a new unboxing because I just got this in. This is the Susan's Garden Ultimate Toolkit. If you've watched my videos for a bit, you probably have seen where I've made some really cool three-dimensional flower ones, and those are straight from Susan Tierney through Spellbinders, and she always recommends using her toolkit because she's got all the bits, all the tools that you need to create those wonderful projects. Now, I have used within my stash, but recently I also lost my, I lost my reverse tweezers, and I still haven't found it, and it's been weeks. So I figured, okay, I need new tweezers anyway, so why don't I go ahead and get the full kit so that I've got that plus all the extra stuff to make some fun, cool flowers. And since I just got this in, I figured why don't I go ahead and show you guys what's in it. And actually, I started opening this up and then I thought, you know what, I really need to record this. So I'm doing this just for you guys. So this is everything that comes in the box. Um, one thing I do like is there is a place for me to put them. So storage is always an issue with me. I always have to find somewhere to put my stuff. I don't know about you, but this comes with a cute little bag. And the sticker, it's not really a sticker, it's actually in, the, it's ad adhered to the plastic, so it's almost like painted on on the inside, but we've got this cute clear bag so we can see that we've got all of our stuff. This is a couple of the mats. And what I've used is um, when making, you know, making these shapes on the flowers, you know, kind of breaking down those, those fibers and um, making the paper curl. I've used a mouse pad. I've used my Sizzix Secret Weapon, which isn't even on the market anymore. Um, but I use that, and that is actually kind of like this. This is a thick piece of really good foam, and this is going to be used. Let's see if she's got instructions on here. This is called the foam molding mat. So we've got that. We've got a nonstick sheet, which looking at this, it looks like a piece of, doesn't feel quite the same, but it looks similar to um, the Ranger um, mat that they've got, where you, um, not a piece of mat, the one that you can do ink blending and stuff on. So that's what that feels like. This is a leaf pad, which texture wise, it feels like a real thick piece of maybe watercolor cardstock, and it is a heavy weight. So we've got those three, and those are three things that I have not had in my stash. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in a the little bag. And then we've got all the little tools. <clears throat> so first off, we've got the tool-in-one. Many of you guys have probably already seen a tool-in-one on lots of different channels because Spellbinders has had these for quite a while. I've got an off-brand one that I've been using off and on. So it usually has a pokey tool and maybe some small styluses and stuff, but it's mostly designed for using with your with your dies to clean all that stuff off. So that's what this one's from, and this is an old one that I've had from like Hobby Lobby. So there are a lot of different brands and such out there, and I still have that one to use. This is a new one that I love the design. It is really pretty, and it matches my Spellbinder stuff. And it comes with all of these, and they're in their own little, oh, nice zipper pouch. This is some of the heavier plastic. It's not like a regular, like a Ziploc or anything. This is a nice zipper pouch for you to keep all your things in. And if I'm right, you should be able to also possibly keep them inside your, yes, there is compartment inside for you to be able to put your extra styluses. So we've got a big ball stylus. And I'm gonna have to check and see exactly how these go on. Okay, they turn off there. Let me just try that again. Oh, okay. So this part you just pull down to be able to put your stylus in. And then you can use it for sh shaping your paper. Again, we've got all this space on the inside and then all these other tools that she uses on all of her on all of her projects. So we've got three different size ball stylus. We've got the eight millimeter, which is the big one that I've got over here, the eight millimeter. Then we've got the five millimeter. Um, this is also my first time opening the box, okay? So bear with me. And then we've got this teeny tiny two millimeter. So those are our ball styluses. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here so I don't lose them. And it looks like there's actually a couple of slots for a couple of them to fit in well. And then we've got a couple of what she calls loop tools, and you see why it's called a loop tool. 
Yes, it is a piece of metal on the end that is a loop, and one is a short and one is a long. And I'm wondering if all this is going to fit in here. It may not all fit in, but we will see. And then we've got this one that is the leaf tool. That makes sense. This one has got a curved end and then it's a bit of a sharp point, but not quite as sharp as, say, a, a sharp pointy uh, pokey tool, which is what I've been using instead. So this is where you're going to be able to put those those nice lines in the leaves and such. So that's what that is for. Let's see if I can get it all together. Nope, it's not all gonna fit in there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do instead, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back together. I'll add, I think, the, the small leaf tool on the other end. Assuming it all fits in the bag like that, so that'll be kind of where I'll keep it to begin with. And then these little guys can go back in their pouch and again into the bag so I don't lose any of the things and yes that fits in there fine then we've also got a pair of scissors and these are some really fine detail scissors they've got really looks like they are really nice and sharp too I'm gonna have to try those out and to protect your hands, they do have a piece of plastic on the end. You can leave them on there or you can take it off. I'm probably going to take it off after I start using them. But then we've got two pairs of tweezers that don't want to come out of the plastic. There we go. So this is the reverse tweezers, and these are similar to, these are basically the same ones I already had before. They've got a really nice sharp end, so it's easy to hold. It's got a straight edge, which I really like compared to some of my other ones. These are the ones that I've had for ages. This is, I think, if I'm... I, EK success, I think. And they work fine, but I really like my direct ones because it helps me to... In my mind, I'm able to put things exactly where I want them, and not have to think about the curve. I don't know, does that make any sense? <clears throat> but this also makes it so that you can, um, when you're doing your shaping of your leaves and petals, you've got a straight edge there, so you can go right down the middle. So we've got that. Then we've got some other tweezers that are also really sharp, and these have got an angle. These are not reverse tweezers, these are just regular tweezers, okay? So that is what comes in the bag. And I'm zipping all of that up and putting that one away to use with my next project using some of the lovely flowers. I do have a couple of those coming up and I'm probably going to release this video right before the next one. So we're going to go ahead and give that a shot and see how everything works here. I am very happy that I got my tweezers because I needed those. And all of these other tools are going to be fantastic additions to my craft room. So you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.